In today's quick tip video, we'll look at how you can create this word art portrait in Affinity Photo. You can start with an image like this and turn it into this. I'm here in Affinity Photo and I just created this starter document. I'll place the image of my character here. I'll select File, Place, and I'll select my image. Now this is a transparent image, which I recommend for this effect. I'll also add a yellow background here. So I'll select Layer, New Fill Layer. Let's move it to the bottom. I'll change the color to yellow. I think there's good. I'll just lock it. Now the key to this technique is that we're going to be using shapes and letters as masks. And I'll work separately on the left side of the image and the right side of the image. So with my image selected, I'll duplicate it with Control J. I'll call one side left, and I'll call the other side right. Let's hide the right side for now. I'll go to the left side. So now I'm going to draw a rectangle so we can just mask half our image. So I'll select the rectangle tool here. I'm just going to draw a rectangle here. The color doesn't really matter. We're not going to see it. So I'll get something like that around the halfway point. Now in the layer stack, I'm going to drag the rectangle over the left layer. Make sure you let go over the thumbnail icon there. So I'll let go. Now we can see our layer is masked in half. And if you want to adjust it later, you can just expand the layer here. And with my rectangle selected, as I change the rectangle, it changes the masking of my image here. But I'll just make it so it's masking exactly half the image here, right about there. So I'll lock and hide the left side just so we don't accidentally click it. Now comes the fun part, the right side of our image. So let me turn that on. Now, just like we used a rectangle to mask our image, we can also use text. So I'm gonna select the artistic text tool over here. I'll click and drag on my image and I'll type a word. And now we can use our text as a mask. So I'll select the text layer. I'll click and drag it over the thumbnail for the right side and I'll let go. If I expand that thumbnail, you can see we have the word there and I can resize it. I can move it around and it's masking out our character. So let's continue and add another word. I'll select the text tool. I'll say has, let's put it over where our character would be. I'll click and drag it onto the right side. I'll let go and everything disappears. So it didn't quite work out how we wanted it to. Now, the reason everything disappears is because we have multiple masks here. And by default, when you have multiple masks, the black part of the mask, the part that's erasing, will take precedence. So because these two shapes aren't overlapping, their black space is erasing our entire image. Now, if I take the word has and I drag it over justice, you'll see the common area is white and it is showing through, but that's not really what we want. Let me drag it back out here. Fortunately, there's a very easy way we can get around this. If I select both my words here, they're acting as a mask. I can group them with control G. So I'll press control G. Now we see it's behaving as we expect. Both these words are serving as the mask. That's because the way we have it organized now, these two words are being composited together first. And then the total result of the two words in the group is being used as the mask. So let's turn the left side back on. And now we can start arranging the words how we like. I'll take the word has, put it over here. Now it can be a little tedious to use the text tool to make new text. Sometimes I just like to hold alt and click and drag on the text to copy it. And then when it's selected, if I click the artistic text tool, I can start editing it here. I'll do that again. Sometimes you may have trouble selecting these words because of how they're grouped. Just remember you can always select them in the layer stack over here. Now I recommend locking your right image here. If you don't, if you move your text like this, you'll be moving the image underneath it too. Let me undo this. But if I lock this layer here, I can still move the text, but the underlying image stays in place. Now, if you want to go exactly by the silhouette of your image, you can keep working like this. But the problem is if I make my words bigger, I'm losing them on the edge there. Let me show you a way we can make sure the words always fill out. So I'll undo this. I'll add another layer beneath. Let's add a red text layer beneath. I'll put it under my right layer there. Now I want to rearrange this grouping here a little bit. I'll turn off the mask for the time being. I'll move our words up here. I'm going to group the right side and this rectangle together. So I'll do that. So this is the right side and the rectangle behind it. Now I'll mask this combined group with my text here. So I'll take this and I'll drag it in. And I'll turn on my mask. And now what happens is as I increase my words, you can see I'm getting a little bit of a fill behind them here. So it's up to you whether you want that effect or not. I do notice that a lot of times I have to zoom in and zoom out to get the screen to refresh here. It's a little frustrating. You can stretch the words as you like. And here we have our final results. If there's any topics you'd like to see covered, let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.